Oh, I should call my phone. <laughs> Welcome, guys. <laughs> Today, I I personally have been very much looking forward to this for quite a long time because we scheduled this like a couple months ago. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I've just been so excited to talk about Run Disney, especially because the Princess Half Marathon Weekend is this upcoming weekend. But Ooh. I am joined by the fabulous ladies. And collectively, we are a running group called the Fairy God Runners, which yeah. originated last year i think it is the catchiest name ever um but so many we we've done so many amazing races together um like we did all of our summer 5ks virtual 5ks we've done um you guys did wine and dine we did it together um we did marathon weekend and we're gonna do princess weekend so of course here to my left on the screen right on my screen left that i'm pointing to is <laughs> Is Jesse from Miss Jerry's channel. Hi, Jesse. How are you doing? Hi. Today? I'm great. I'm so glad to be here. It's been a long overdue time for us to chat. 100%. The yeah. last time we all got to like really talk like face to face was like in December mm -hmm. or maybe right after December. Yeah. So, anyway, it's yeah. nice to see you guys. Yeah. It's like <laughs> I do miss our little Skype calls that we do, our Zoom calls. Oh. Yeah. But I'm very excited. Okay. Rita is down in the corner here. Enchanted Rita. Rita, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm also happy to be here. It's been a while. And I'm a little nervous for the race, not going to lie. But this is like helping me through it. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm so glad. Um, and then down below me, we have Katie from Over the Mooney. Hi, Katie. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. It's backwards. Talk about running. Yay. I'm yeah. so excited to talk about running. Um, and we have a little friend there. Hear that. I'm excited to talk about running. <laughs> I, I mean, we're not actually running in this. We're running. I I saw a joke. Um, I got this running calendar around Christmas time. And one of the days said, does running out of wine count as running? And I gave that one to, to my family. So they liked that one. Um, <laughs> So before we get into the actual Run Disney chat, we'll say hi to the chat um, over there. Um, you guys can here, <laughs> over here. Um, and then if you guys have any specific questions about Run Disney, um, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different stuff tonight. So if you have a specific question, make sure you tag us, any of us, um, or any of the moderators. They have blue names. And uh, then you'll, we'll try and answer your question the best we can. So Kit Stahlberg, hello, Captain Akron, Mike Wheeler, Samantha Lowe, Violetta, hello, welcome, uh, Avery the Cuban American, Diz Nerdy Canadian Alex, I really, I really like that name, uh, <laughs> Rachel, hello, welcome, Christine Hickman, Joy Us, Pig Latruski, Jonathan Chong, Bill Steffen, Happy's Haunt, Tim Rempel, uh, Timothy Rainwaters, hello, Hannah Anderson, Surf Bum. That's a lot of hardware, Megan. <laughs> well, we did bring some medals to share um, with you guys um, from a good variety of races. So if you guys yeah. want to see some of our medals, they will be coming up. Uh, Karen Cook, hello, Karen, Alyssa, and Neil. Uh, let's see, Oodle Lolly Lane, so much better than Patrick at saying that. Uh, ALJ, hello, I'm going to be ninja watching, no worries at all. Stacey Rogers, hello, welcome. Uh, Wendy B, thank you guys so much for being here. Zippity Doodad, hello, Patrick. Um, Tina McNeil, I'm going to catch up. I see Rita. Hi, Rita. <laughs> Disney <laughs> work. Hello. <laughs> Day grubs. It's always sunny. Hi, guys. I finally got to meet <laughs> Brandon and Heidi, like, virtually over the weekend. And I just thought, like, after hearing so many amazing things about them, I was like, we would be such good friends. And I know Heidi's a runner. So I hope Heidi likes there you it. Go. Uh, Teresa Martin. Hello. Movie Mania Nick. Donna Jaworski. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to catch up. Christina, welcome. Beverly, Disney Granny. That's an awesome name. Um, Bree, mm -hmm. and hello. I'm here for the live while they all run on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It jumped. The Disney Ginger, hello. Brittany, welcome. Uh, Glenn Castro, Jesse, welcome. I'm going to catch up. Sorry, guys. Uh, Chris Dad Builds, awesome job over the weekend, Chris. Mike, 88 NYC. Welcome. And if I've missed you guys, let me know. Um, tag me because it just jumped a whole bunch. Um, it's Joey's World. Hello, welcome. Because I do want to get into our run Disney chat before. Oh, Game Boys. Hi, Game Boys. Hi, oh, hello. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Pittsburgh Disney fans. Um, 
there's I feel like we have so many awesome people here tonight. Right. So, yeah. you know, yeah. so many awesome people. Um, thank you so much for being here. And so I guess we could start off. Um, I know several of us turn the boxes. I'm sure a lot of people in the chat as well um, have different experiences running at Disney um, in terms of running in the park or versus running um, these virtual races. So Jesse, do you want to give some of your experience in your Run Disney history? Sure. Um, I started with Run Disney because I've done, this is going to be my fifth race this upcoming weekend, but I had the opportunity to participate in the 2017 Coast to Coast Half Marathon. So that's in one calendar year, you run a half marathon in Disneyland and in Disney World, and then you get a collective medal at the end. And so I did that and then kind of resurrected my running career after a pretty serious hip injury. Um, over this last year and it's been so good to get back um, to running and so started with all of the little races that we did the 5k's the virtual 5k's with run disney mm -hmm. and then wine and dine half half marathon um in january for the marathon weekend and then this upcoming weekend the princess race which i have been wanting to do for so long so i'm so excited to finally do it because ariel's my girl and she's always on a medal and yeah. i'm finally gonna get it yeah. Yeah. So, Jesse, yeah. you, does that mean you're doing the challenge then that is correct and you're doing the 5k too yeah i'm doing 5k 10k half and same i did the same with um the wine and dine yeah yeah that's awesome so um just yes i think Jessie's a little pixelated, but she's still, I could still hear her audio. So um, I think you're, I think you're getting better, Jessie. Yeah, yes, you're getting better. more and more clear. It's like yeah. the more you talk about Ariel, the more <laughs> the princess yeah. is and running. It's like, we got to get moving. Um, so if anyone's curious, Jessie did mention a couple challenges. So there's the coast to coast challenge where, um, unfortunately, Disneyland hasn't had a run Disney race in quite some time. Um, but they did have some run Disney races. And so if you did one half marathon in Disneyland and one in Disney World, you got an extra challenge medal. Um, and so the challenges are typically that you do more than one race. Um, and when you do sign up for the challenges, you have to actually sign up for the challenge. You can't just separately sign up for the races. Um, so for instance, um, for Princess Weekend, you have the fairy tale challenge, which means that you're doing the 10K and the half marathon um, back to back. And the 5K is a different race. And then for Marathon Weekend, you have the Goofy Challenge and the Dopey Challenge. The Goofy Challenge is doing the half marathon and the full marathon. And then the Dopey Challenge is doing the 5K, the 10K, the half, and the full marathon. So they do have you doing it in subsequent days. So you're typically running more than one day in a row. So that's some background for anyone that doesn't know very much about Disney runs and uh, yeah, so Jesse is a very um, accomplished runner. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna take the compliment. I don't know about that. Take it, Jesse. Just take it. <laughs> I I have ran before. How about that? <laughs> uh, Nicholas from Disney Mert says. I'm doing the 5K, 10K, and half gave me anxiety just hearing Jesse say it aloud. <laughs> I'm not even doing it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, sometimes. Yes. Like, Wait till you hear what I'm doing too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So on that note, Stacey, I will get to the question in just a little bit. Um, but Rita, why don't you tell us about your run Disney history? Well, I'm no running expert. I'm just going to say that now. None um, of us are running experts. Yeah. <laughs> But I did my very first run a Disney um, race last year for the virtual wine and dine that we all did. And that was the first thing. I only opted to do just the half marathon because I wanted to just be my way in. We've but talked I about that before. Only. Only. Just it was not only. It was a few. But I only did that one instead of all of them. But then I will be participating in um, this weekend's Princess Marathon, which I'm very excited about. I'm doing the whole challenge. So the 5K, the 10K, the half. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to lie. But You're going to do it. You got we're it. Open. We're just going to do it. You got it. I'm going to put like numbing cream on my legs. 
Girl, let me tell you, Biofreeze is your best friend when you're running, especially on the Disney courses, uh, mm -hmm. because they have like those big gallon pumps. And anytime, like during the marathon, I stopped and I like threw it over my legs and I took like a whole pile at every stop. I was like, just lather? Yeah, I just like rub it literally all over my legs. Oh, wow. <laughs> I need to buy me some of that stuff. Yeah. Can I it's drink that? It works magic, seriously. That's like the magic. They say every mile is magic. It's the miles that have biofreeze there that are the magic. So, um, yes. We also have a few other friends in here. Kimmy J, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you caught alive. Um, and Kat, welcome. She says, Katie, it's so nice to see you, hon. You are all amazing to run. It's inspiring. Thanks, Kat. You're awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, KT Tape is something else, too, Pittsburgh Disney fans. I know that um, th they're runners over there. But mm -hmm. Game Boy says, yes, Meg, biofreeze. <laughs> your best friend. I mean, I can tell you, you need some. Um, Rita, I, I cannot wait for you to get more medals because you truly deserve them. You are Thank so you. Thank you. Um, and Katie, I know how much you love running. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Number, number one fan right here. <laughs> tell us about your run Disney history. Number one how you, how you going to, to do run Disney. Yeah, so I... I got inspired by everyone here, really. Um, and I did do the three 5Ks in the summertime. So that was my very first toe in the water type experience mm -hmm. with Ron Disney. Um, and I think that that's probably about the length. Like, I think <sighs> I did the half marathon in not officially but like yes you did though you did it. You did it. no you did it, you did it. You did it. You did it. and the thought the sheer thought of doing that like <laughs> the pavement in a park like there's so much stressors happening like yeah. no, absolutely not give me my elliptical throw hamilton on the tv screen in front of me and let me just do it in two hours that is exactly yeah. why i made through it yeah right like i i feel like i am the target demographic for these virtual races because the cats <laughs> so many cats yeah. <laughs> it's just it's it's short um, and quick you just get it done so that, that was my experience. I enjoyed wow. it. I was very proud of myself and all of us for getting through it, but um, yeah. doing it in person is just terrifying. Oh, I think we have a request from the oh, chat. Can we bring the cats? Let me find her. Hang on. She left. She this left. is from the running part of our whole stream. So yeah. you're running to get the cats. <laughs> this is as much activity as you're going to see. Yes. Squeaky. Wendy B says, I train very hard in avoiding exercise. I'm almost at the level. I think doing the run Disney races are like very much motivation for me to actually do exercise. So okay, let's um let's go to Katie first just so we can present you and the cat. Oh my goodness. Squeaky. She loves being a part of videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and Jesse, do you want to hold? Telly. Sure. This is Telly. <laughs> Can I say hi, T? Hey, I interrupted her dinner, so she's like, look, at she's so mad. She's like, um, excuse me? <laughs> Those ears are not happy ears. Wait, hold on. Oh, Rita, we, got, we got a request for Cornelius. I'm too. going. Hold on. Let me yeah. go get this. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't Start have this animal. animal. Hi to Tati. Hello, Tati. Yay, it's my Tati. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any animals to, to bring to the stream, but Avery says, now this is a perfect stream. <gasps> yes. Here for the cat ones. <laughs> yes. Um, all the cats. <laughs> I don't even have like a, I have a boogie boogie next to me, but I don't, I don't know. Dead face. Um, yes. Hi, lady. Hi, lady. Cornelius is too heavy for me to carry. Oh my gosh, look at that oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All the kisses. Okay, that just made everything a lot better. So. <laughs> yes. Is this it, is a a live or run Disney live? <laughs> this is, actually, yeah. um, this is a, a Disney animal live. Welcome. <laughs> we can with us. Yeah. yeah. They're here. That's, that's a really good point, though, because. It gets you up and, and moving if you want to take your dog for a run or a walk or cats. Cats don't 
normally do that. So <laughs> no, but they're good resting partners. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very yeah. good. For recovery too. They are like your support mm-hmm. animals. <laughs> Cornelius is forever stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um Katie did an amazing job over the summer and in November doing the half marathon, even though I do have to say, like when our group originally came together, um Katie did not sign up to do the half marathon, but she yeah. just jumped through that. Yeah. So to the fact that she actually did it, even though she like didn't, she was like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. And then she was like, I'm going to do it with you guys. <laughs> Katie, thank you for doing it with us. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> That's so inspiring. So I was like, yeah, I'm doing awesome. it. Thanks. Um, for me, I started my run Disney journey uh, last year, I guess, technically, but in April of 2019, when I signed up to do the Dopey Challenge, when I had never even done a half marathon, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> since then, um, I've done, I think, five half marathons and two full marathons, and I've done a bunch of 5Ks um, and the 10Ks. But I'm very proud of my running accomplishments, even though I'm not, I don't consider myself a runner. Um, Cause I'm just like, I, I am Baymax. I am not fast. So. <laughs> um, so I guess we can do a quick overview of what races there actually are for run Disney. Um, so in January you have the Walt Disney world marathon weekend. It's typically in January and you have the 5k, the 10k, the half marathon and the full marathon. And this is the only weekend that they have a full marathon for any run Disney race. And then you have in uh, February, you have the Princess Half Marathon Weekend, which is also a 5K, a 10K, and a half marathon. And then in typically April, you have Star Wars, but they are actually going to be retheming it for next year. So it will be exciting to see what they retheme it to. I am very curious. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be Marvel, I think. I was thinking that too. or a Pixar weekend. Oh, I was hoping it was Pixar. But well, <laughs> Pixar. yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. I feel like it is going to be like Marvel though. Um, but yeah, there is going to be rethemed, but t- the last five years it's been the rival run, which is also a 5K, a 10K and a half. And then in November, they have the wine and dine half marathon weekend, which once again is a 5K. 10k and half um we just kind of like where our journey started we started training together through the fairy god runners and it was so much fun so um i guess we can talk about too what you guys thought about the virtual races like do you think it was worth your money um would you sign up for one again um we could also talk about um the different tiers so i, I guess before we start that my brain is just rambling um <laughs> They had different costs for um, originally when they had yeah. transitioned food and wine um, or the the wine and dine half marathon. They didn't really give you any options. You just had to keep your original um, sign up that you were doing. So I had originally signed up to do the challenge, but it was a lot of money that to do a virtual run. And I just mm-hmm. um, didn't feel like that was worth it. But then moving on to Marathon Weekend and Princess and, and Star Wars, they give you a few options. So they gave you, um, like for the challenges, they gave you three different options. For the other races, they gave you two options. So you could just get the medal or you could get the medal and the t-shirt. And so for Princess, the 5K was $40, and to get the t-shirt, it was $75. Um, For the 10K, it was $49 for just the medal. For the medal and the t-shirt, it was $89. For the half, it was $59 just for the medal. And for the medal and the t-shirt, it was $108. And then for the challenge, for the medals, it was $115. And for this challenge, you'd get three medals. Um, And then with the shirts, it would be $232. So um, that was just for Princess Half Marathon. I think it's very similar for Star Wars. Um, I could run, I couldn't run a marathon. Maybe roll it, but not run. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely love to roll. Cool. <laughs> I would ro- roll one one time. <laughs> but I digress. Uh, so those are kind of what we're looking at for the costs. Um, so Jesse, we'll start with you. Like, what what did what are your thoughts about the virtual run Disney races? Do you think it was worth your money? Would you sign up again? 
I mean, I obviously am addicted to Run Disney just because of medals and like yeah. bling. And also it's a really good motivator as well. And mm -hmm. I think it's interesting because having all the virtual options, I wouldn't have been able to sign up for as many as I have because they used to be based off of like actually physically going to Disney World or Disneyland when they had the Disneyland yeah. races. Yeah. So it allows us to be able to do more. Um, would I prefer running through? Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, yeah. Animal Kingdom. Um, yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, especially when it's a pretty close in price range. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't miss being super sore trying to like waddle my way through Disney World after I ran a half marathon either. So, I mean, there's definitely advantages in both ways. But mm -hmm. if you gave me a choice, I'd probably want to do it in person. Um, another thing to keep in mind, it's really hard to do on a treadmill. Um, <laughs> I don't have the option to go outside. I live in Alaska. There's like three feet of snow on the ground and about in your winter wonderland. I know. <laughs> yeah. I have my foot. It looks like I'm <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I can't really run outside without like having spikes on my shoes, which would cause a whole logistical nightmare of itself. And so running on a treadmill for two hours is a long time. So yeah. it's, you know, there, there are advantages and disadvantages. And that's a pretty fast half marathon if you're doing it in two hours too. Yeah. 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 That's not me. So it's, I am not fast. <laughs> I am not fast. <laughs> so, um, Alex wants to know what the prices are in comparison virtual to live. I could tell you for my dopey challenge last year in 2020, um, it was almost a third of the cost. Um, I, I opted only to get the medals, and I know um, Disney or Pix Pittsburgh Disney fans wanted to know the magic option, which is only medals, two twenty five for Dopey. The, if you got one T shirt, it was two seventy five, and for all the T shirts, it was four hundred and eighty dollars. Um, but for the two thirty two, I thought it was completely worth it because I paid way more last year, um, and typically. I would say the races, um, single races, I think the half marathons are about $110 or $115. Um, and then just with the medal is $50. So yeah. it's about a third of the price. Um, a, like, I don't know, two and a half times. Um, so that's, I think, the comparison. Uh, also, hi, Erica. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the Lolly Lane Kate says, now I understand the awesome windows. So cool, Cherry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love watching your stories on Instagram of like just the snow. The it's snow. Oh, the moose. The moose are my favorite. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So Jesse brought up a really good point about um, your accessibility to running. So especially for the people that um, like Katie, I know that you have snow. I have snow. Jesse has snow. Rita, you don't have as much snow. In I have Hill. no snow. <laughs> yeah. But it's very hot there. And we found that out in the yeah, summer. I have, I have lots of sun, like oven. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. And so, yeah, that's your accessibility. Do you have a treadmill to run on? Um, right. Do you uh, do you have access right. outside? Um, so that's a really good point. Um, Jesse, thank you so much for, and, and I know you, you've signed up for other races. So obviously you'd continue doing yeah. that. Awesome. Yeah, I, I just saw love the medals. The medals. I saw that Wendy had a question about the balloon ladies. Do you want to explain to people about the oh balloon God. people? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I made to my core. This is mm -hmm. one of the benefits actually of doing, mm -hmm. um, and Christina asked a, a really similar um, question. So for the virtual races, there's really no time limit. So it, you could take as long as you want. Actually, sometimes you can even do them over the course of a few days if if that's what your, you know, your fitness level is at and that's what you're working towards. Mm -hmm. um, so there really is no time limit. So for in-person run Disney races, the minimum time pace that you need to keep per mile is a 16 minute mile. They actually advise you to train at a 15 minute mile yep. just so that mm -hmm. you account for you know, bathroom stops or character stops or anything like that. But if you do want to meet characters, which there are a lot of characters along the way in Run Disney Races, you do probably want to pick up your pace a little bit faster than even 15 minute miles. Um, so to keep the pace at 16 minute miles, you have a group of women that have balloons tied to them and they are known as the balloon ladies. They keep the pace very specifically at 
16 minute miles. If you do fall behind them, yeah. they will they will remove you from, you. from <laughs> your <room. laughs> You'll get popped. <laughs> exactly. also, the balloons are so reminiscent of Mario Kart. Like that's all I can think of. Oh, like you throw oh, down. Do, 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 you know? Ultimately, if you don't keep the pace, you will be picked up from, from the course, um, mostly because they do need you to finish in a certain amount of time. So they're very strict on the 16 minute mile pace. If you meet very nice people at the expo, like I did, they gave me the tracking numbers. <laughs> for the balloon ladies. So oh I was able to keep up uh, knowing where they were the entire time during the run, which is kind of creepy at the same time, but. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. But, but I would uh, say like a, a 16 minute pace when you're walking is fast. It's very totally. fast. Yeah. For walking is, is super fast. super fast. It is fast. So it's yep. definitely like you have to train if you're walking, you have to train yes. for that walking pace because it's hard to keep that pace. Because walking is just fast. such a natural feeling, right? And you get into this rhythm. You can't do that for, for races, in-person races. Yeah. Yeah. So they, I wouldn't say eject you, <laughs> but you do get removed <laughs> from the course. I know. Um, you still get your medal, but you just don't finish. Um, so yeah. I guess that's up to you if you want to keep your medal. If you you know if you don't technically finish, um, and maybe those are the ones that end up on Mercari. Maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about that. Before the training like started, and they just <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like totally. <laughs> So before the stream started, we were talking about how people on like eBay and different sites sell their sell their medals, and we're like, why would you want to sell them? Um, oh, it's a bitter <laughs> reminder that you didn't finish the race. <laughs> you might as well get some of your money back, though, right? right? Absolutely. I agree. So Nicholas from the Disney Mertz wants to know if y'all ladies had to pick a Disney theme for a race that you haven't done, what theme would you pick and why? Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, technically, I did not do the wine and dine, which is villains. So that's I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm still like, really bummed. After seeing Jesse unbox them, I was like, no, I made a I huge know. mistake. I'm I'm so dumb, I, I was like, I have made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Oh, I just I, the, I, oh, the metal. Oh, the, the spinner? The yes, spinner one? Jack and Oogie wow. one. Oh, oh yeah. my heart. I would love to see a Christmas race. Oh, oh that would be a holiday cool. race. Like yeah. they do like mid December. Cause it's off season, like mid December, like the, oh my gosh, it'd be so fun. And the castle would be lit up. I mean, I'm thinking yeah. in person. Like that the would castle so would be lit pretty. and Santa would be there. Oh, yeah. Santa would be cheering you on with them. That's awesome. Oh, that'd be a good one. Oh, Rita, what about you? Do you have any ideas? I think I would do, I mean, I, Christmas would probably be a number one. So that was a good one, Jesse. But I think I'd also do like a under the sea kind of thing. Like where it was all like Finding Nemo, Ariel, Moana, like all of those kinds of things. <gasps> yes. Gerald. A Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's it. What if there was a Gerald medal? Yes. He'd be the five. If there was a children's medal, whatever. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> Uh, I'm signing my my child up for the for the kids <laughs> race. <laughs> I would kidnap a child, make them run the race, so I could get the medal. <laughs> oh, Show up with Tally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Um. And Patrick said, Patrick, were you really kicked off the course? <gasps> People. <No. laughs> they sound straight up evil. I. <laughs> so Tim at the expo. Um, for your family and friends to track you during the race, um, specifically during the 10K, the half, and the full. Um, because I do want to point out, too, that in person, the 5K isn't technically timed. So you're not, like, specifically kept to the 16-minute mile pace because they won't they won't kick you off the course for the 5K. Um, I think you do have to finish within a certain amount of time, but it's not as strict as the other races. Like, they're very strict about the 10K, the half, and the full. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> I just, oh, I can't imagine being 
and cute dog. That would make me so sad. Yeah. Oh, Meg, another thing that they do, I don't know if this is like super well known, but when uh, you do your bib actually is part of your link to your My Disney experience. So any yeah. photo pass photographers, you can give your bib number to your family and they can see the photos come in oh, as you're right. Yeah. 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 My yeah. best friend had mine and she was like, you know, making comments about like where we were at and stuff. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so for the longer races, they have little um, like little pads on the ground that when you cross that specific mile, it'll it'll update your family of where you are in the course, your time, um, what your pace is. And so someone at the expo had given me someone's bib number from the balloon ladies. I don't know like how legit it is to do that. Um, they probably shouldn't be doing that, but it was my first time like running in any run Disney race. And I was terrified because I was doing all four. <laughs> I was like, um, I just like need a little help. And everyone at the expo was so nice. Oh, um, that's nice. That. Patrick, they call that the sleepy challenge. Like instead of the dopey challenge, it's the sleepy <laughs> challenge. You're helping me running um, or sleeping while you run. Um, and also, hi, Marie and Chris from LBV TV. Welcome. Um, if you run with your phone and they are linked to your Disney experience, they can see where you are on the map. Awesome, Pittsburgh Disney fans. Oh, that's good to know. Um, and also, if you have um, everything from your bib number is going to be linked to like photos and stuff too from your specific race. So you it'll, like at the expo, they would give you um, instructions on how to do that. So um, Rita, did we ask you about? <laughs> no, yeah, we stopped that just I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Rita, what are your thoughts about the virtual run Disney races? Would you do them again? I feel like we covered so much what I was already going to say. So I mean, we're pretty good, but um i think based off of the price difference from what i'm understanding because i didn't do one before it mm -hmm. wasn't my virtual although i paid for the one when it was still technically going to happen mm -hmm. but um i think for the price point if you really want to kind of do a marathon and your like motivation could be disney i feel like it's probably worth it i feel like that's kind of like a good motivation yeah. you like need that or you just want extra magic while you run whatever the case is yeah. um so yeah i mean i think i'm going to keep doing them as well especially for the price as far as like virtual over like real life to be completely honest with you guys i really don't think i would finish if i was doing it in the parks like i just i just don't think i'm like literally ready like that was a dream in my head that i thought i was gonna be able to not hit those balloon ladies like in time so i'm glad it's virtual because it at least lets me um have the opportunity to do it and exactly like i did it on an elliptical you can do it on a treadmill you can do it on anything really if you're doing it virtually and i just think that's nice if people have like back issues or knee issues or other cases, at least you can still feel like you're participating and you're technically are doing the half marathon. Like you're still going that distance. You're just doing mm -hmm. it differently. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's still like a really good accomplishment. So right now I'm kind of enjoying the virtuals. I'm going to be maybe a little sad when they get rid of them. Cause then that means I'm going to have to really try to meet <laughs> past those balloon ladies. Um, so yeah. That's that's my thought on them right now. Yes, but by the way, a 16 minute mile, if you're trying to speed walk is very fast because I when I was like kind of training for it then, I was like, I'm not even walking anymore. I'm literally jogging at this point. Like yeah, yeah. to speed walk at a 16 yeah. minute mile is really fast. Like my yeah. legs are like going like crazy. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm pretty much jogging at this point. Like you yeah. can't really walk it, I feel like. Yeah, um, I agree. Really, like you can't. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <This is awesome. laughs> Seriously, like they do give you nightmares. Like that is your biggest motivation. Honestly, Nicholas, I would, I would be, I would have nightmares too. If I was doing this in person, legit, I'd be so scared of seeing you. So I'd be there is, back constantly. Yeah, there <laughs> is actually, a way that you can do shorter, um, or longer than sixteen minute miles. Also, um, hi Melissa, welcome. So there's another way that you could be placed into a corral. But that requires you to also do much faster miles in another race to get placement. So before I did my um, first dopey, I had done a local race here and I had done um, much faster miles than what I had done in the four the four days. Um, but that allowed me to be placed in the corral. So on mm -hmm. days like the half marathon, I was able to do like a 16 minute mile or a 17 minute mile where I was able to walk a good portion of the race. So yeah. that is a way to kind of, you're planning on doing a challenge um, and you want to do some of your miles a little bit longer than say your final race. Um, that's kind of a way to do it, but you also mm -hmm. kind of have to run 
faster in the original race if you're, you know, if you're training. So, um, right. But Rita, you also made some really good points that it's so much more accessible to people that, yeah. Um, yeah. that like may or may not like be able to physically run. Um, yeah. They are able to do it on, on the elliptical. I know we had people biking that were doing it alongside with oh, us, yeah. swimming, yeah. Um, which swimming is way harder to do. Yeah, I can imagine that. I cannot. I cannot. Um, what are the run, the Disney corral times? That is, I think, specific to each race, but I know that they actually made it even more um, specific. Like I think in order to be placed, you have to have at least under a two and a half hour um, half marathon, which is what it was when mm -hmm. we were signing up for the villains um, wine and dine. Um, so you can only submit a time if you had under a two and a half hour um, half marathon time, which, in, in, I mean, if you're a beginner runner, that's actually very difficult to achieve. It's still, I've never, I've never done a two and a half hour um, half marathon. That's really hard for me. So that's like an 11 minute mile. Yeah. For the entire for 13 time. miles. Um, yeah. So, which is also a good point to bring up if you are trying to be placed for the, if you're running a half marathon, you can submit a 10 K time, which has to be like legitimately timed from a race. You have to have a chip. Yeah. And there are some races that um, they're very specific on you, this could be submitted for other times. Um, and then you, you could also submit a half marathon. So for a half marathon, you could submit a 10 K or a half. And then for a full marathon, if you're planning on doing dopey or the, the Walt Disney world full marathon, you could submit a half marathon or a full marathon time. Um, you can't submit a 10 K. Um, you might actually be able to submit a 10 miler for the half as well, but they're like different things that you could submit, um, but each race um, is different for in-person, but for the virtual races, there are no um, times for corrals or anything like that. So um, yeah, for any background information. Oh, hello. Over Someone's here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's the mailman. Let's welcome our guest. <laughs> we actually had a surprise guest for you guys. <laughs> yeah, welcome the mailman. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Katie, I think I know your thoughts on this one, but let us know, do you think it was worth the cost um, of doing the virtual races? Would you do them again? Um, you let us know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm a sucker for a good design. So if they have like good medals, and honestly, I think I would like to do one once. Not, not the half, definitely. Probably like a 10K. I think mm -hmm. the experience would be interesting. Um, another thing that we haven't talked about, but I know that Meg and Jesse have talked about this off camera. You have to be there so early. So oh, yes. Even that oh, yeah. itself, like there are so many factors with like the in-person races that I feel are just mm -hmm. not in my, <laughs> are just not in my um, wheelhouse. Um, yeah. I like the virtuals because it does give you that flexibility because right. Like we live in such a crazy climate place that it's either going to be like crazy hot outside during the summertime or mm -hmm. snowing outside during the spring ones. So having that flexibility to be able to stay inside and do them on an elliptical or go outside if it's a beautiful day and do them outside, like having that flexibility is great. It's not something that I think I will necessarily do consistently but mm -hmm. if there's a theme and a medal that i like and i think is cool then yeah maybe yeah. <laughs> as jesse said it's all about the bling it sure is yeah. it sure is yeah so katie katie thank you so much for bringing up that point about the start times yeah so if anyone yes um maria uh, jesse lives in alaska yeah Yes, I live in Alaska. Yes. We're actually all scattered around the U.S., um, so we're oh, yeah. like in several different time zones. So I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, so what happens for the in-person run Disney races is many of the times the races start at 530 in the morning. So like they start, physically start. Um, so that means that you need to be there on the bus in your corral very, very early, like latest four o'clock. Uh, like midnight. <laughs> Let's go right there. Um, so for my for my full marathon, I was up at 1.30, like getting ready, and I was out in the door at two o'clock in the morning. Because um, yeah. also, you have to take into consideration, like before doing a race, you need to eat, you need to have some fuel, um, you need to warm up, you need to, and it, like, 
for some of the races, the uh-huh. weather is really, you know, it, it's, you can't predict it really. Um, mm-hmm. It's unpredictable because it's either going to be really hot or really cold in January in Florida. You just don't mm-hmm. know. Um, same with February, but the race times are very early. So for the virtual ones, you can do it at your leisure anytime you want. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's one bonus. Um, so <laughs> I guess I remember, I remember waking up at like one o'clock and I remember like thinking, why, why did I choose this? Why did I do this on purpose? Yep. But what, what they don't tell you, this is what they don't tell you about run Disney. So they bust you. All the secrets. (laughs) Um, So they bust you there, which bus transportation just takes a long time in general, but you get there and they drop you off and then you have to walk like two miles. Oh, the corrals. To get to the corrals. It's it's like a mile walk to the corrals. Like, I was like, listen, I'm not doing enough miles today. No. No, because you have to go through a second security. Yeah. Oh, Lord. And then what's crazy, too, is I think it was, I think it was the Disneyland one, but I clocked six miles before I even started my race. No. Okay, you need to, like, lessen the 13.1 then. It needs to be, right. like, 10. Okay? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's nuts. Okay. Oh, they they don't tell you about that. So no, that's, see, I feel like I'm forgetting about all these things. Like I blocked them out, and then next time I would do an in person race, I'd be like, oh, I forgot about <laughs> this now. It's it's at least a mile, a mile and a half to walk to the corrals. Like not even to, to start the race. Yeah, um, oh, no, I want to leave already. They need one of those right. tram cars to like. Yeah, take yes. off. that's they what just, they, they should just bus us over there. I mean, yeah, yeah like drop you right at the corral. Like, yeah. no, 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 we're yeah. not walking. Yeah, well, I was there with a group of friends. It was so funny. So before the race, everyone's goal is to go number two, and so I was like, "Did you go? Yeah. Did you go?" Like everyone is exactly. talking about it. I'm like, "What? What are we doing?" Yeah. <laughs> I remember I had this conversation with you, Jesse. I was like. What do I do if I have to go number two? Like, what yeah, do I just, do? Listen, you got to get that done beforehand. <laughs> yes. This is serious. Pro- like, that is so funny because, like, everyone's in, like, this poop club. <laughs> yeah, like, if you, read, if you read any books about running, um, people – so I have a few people in my personal life that have done like marathons, half marathons, and they suggested this book called Marathoning for Mortals. And I've read the book like a couple times and like a huge part of one section is like you got like everyone talks about going number two before you run because there's no way. I mean, yeah, I can't even imagine. No way. No. And then especially for Disney, when you have to stop in all the porta potties, and if you're all sweaty and it's like so you hard to get like your pants like back on, off? no, yeah, it's yeah. so hard. And then if you have like awesome. your bib on you, and oh, there's so much. But <laughs> get it too really far into that. Um, we it's also like had. I genuinely had that concern. Literally, it's a concern. I'm, like, I'm gonna ask Jesse about this because I'm legitimately concerned about this. Yeah, yeah. for wine and dine, you gotta wait till mile six so you can go in the dinosaur exactly. bathrooms. But good luck. <laughs> Getting to mile six without into, into <laughs> the real bathrooms, and, but those are always more crowded because people do mm-hmm. wait. So that's another thing uh, that you have to use different bathrooms on the Disney courses. Um, but hello, Jennifer, welcome, and then Megan was also in here too. Um, Jennifer wants to know how many run days run Disney races have you all ran? Mm-hmm. I've done three. I guess. Oh, well, Mackie's good. Except, except this, where all the numbers are like going. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually slow motion. I think I did eleven. Wow! <laughs> it's just like gears turning. In oh, my head. Are you counting individual races, individual oh, runs? I was counting individual runs. I was not like weekends. I've done. <laughs> This is actually, I'm going to go in and edit this and all the numbers are going to be <laughs> eight. Awesome. Yeah. So we've done, we're not experts, but yeah. we've done quite a few. No. Um, no. So for me, I think that the run Disney races are hundred percent worth it, whether they're in person or virtual. Um, I've had a really mm. good experience doing them virtual. I think, um, if there's something that motivates you, I think that you should go for it. Um, it's something that I knew going into the winter time, um, I really struggle with seasonal affective disorder. So I know that 
going into the winter, I was going to struggle a little bit more with my motivation. And so in September, I was like, I'm going to sign up for Marathon Weekend. I'm going to sign up for Princess. Like, I don't even care what the cost is right now. I'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> but I knew that it was going to keep me training. It was going to keep me doing exercise. And I think for me, that's what's most important. But then like getting the bling on top of it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So I think the price is worth it. Um, of course, there's no comparison in doing it in person, getting to meet super rare characters, getting to build friendships with people that you'd never know. Um, people in the running community are really, really nice, um, especially in the run Disney community. They are so supportive. And uh, I'm just like very grateful for like, I did my all my races by myself um, besides my half, which I did with my dad. But Going into my first run Disney race alone was really scary. And I had a lot of people that were cheering me on, which really like the support. Um, I would suggest anyone do it once if they can, um, especially the virtual races, because there is no specific time limit. And uh, I really think that they're worth it on my end. So on that note, um, I think we want to show off some of our bling that we've gotten. Um, which may be specifically from virtual run Disney races too. So Jesse, why don't we start with you? You could show whatever medals you want. Awesome. So <laughs> many pretty medals. Okay, let's start with um, let's start with I've shown this on our like little live that we did for the Fairy Godrunners, but this is the Tinkerbell oh, Half Marathon from oh, Disneyland. Oh, gorgeous! And it was designed by Pandora, the jewelry company. And oh gosh, she's so glittery. I wish like yeah. that, I don't know if that's coming across, but it's so pretty. And then um, I have to show, this is like my all time most favorite medal. Oh this my is God, the gorgeous. Coast to coast half marathon. Oh and it's got, sorry, there's a little glare, but it's got the partner statue and then it's got the Cinderella castle and Sleeping Beauty castle on it oh, and both that. coastlines. And this was the 10th anniversary. And so with the 10th anniversary, it was gold. So all of the other medals that were coast to coast previously were silver. Ooh. So this was the special one and it was the last one. So. Yeah, that's extra special. Yeah, extra special. Beautiful. And then yeah, our sweet one. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, this, was the, this was the only reason I did the challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, Ursula's my gal. Yeah. Uh, and this is just, it's huge, but it's also really cool metal. So I like felt like I needed to have it. So I did the challenge this uh, last year just so I could get that. So. Yeah. It's all about the bling. I mean, it is. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, Rita, do you have any that you want to share? Um, I only have my one and only so far. Oh my gosh, um, I love it. From Wine and Dine. Oh, and so it was for the half marathon one, which oh. is. Um, so this one is a spinner one, so it does spin. Oh, gorgeous. And it's super nice. I love this. So I, I just feel like they're such good quality. Like I haven't owned any. This is like my first one. And I, I have to say the quality is so good on these. They thick. Um, I mean, they're so thick. Yeah, they're so <laughs> thick. They're heavy. They're not like cheap. They're just really well done. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait to add to my uh, collection. You're going to get three new medals. Yeah. I need, that, I need that Moana one though. Oh no. You're sign up your eBay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And Maria had a question. Does anyone ever walk the 5K? A hundred percent. I walk oh. the 5K. I walk every 5K. Yeah. yeah. Like why so if you're doing a challenge, like why would you want to I don't know how people go out like run right. every race. Like, what are you doing? Aren't you tired? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm too tired to do that. Um, the thing I liked about the half marathon medal that Rita showed, it's matte. And I think yes. that's such a unique like yeah. look on a medal because usually everything's so shiny. shiny it's yes. So striking. Yeah. So um past wine and dine ones, have they been villains or was this the first year it was a villain? No. Yeah, yeah, first year it was villains. That's why we were so excited about it. And yeah. I was heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pittsburgh Disney fans, uh, typically they, I, if you follow, um, if anyone is like interested in trying to train for it, Run Disney actually has um, a training guide from oh, yeah. Jeff Galloway on the Run Disney website, which is totally free for literally every race. Yeah. Um, it's also takes into consideration your um, level of running. Like if you're a 
major beginner um, or if you are an experienced runner. And so Jeff Galloway actually recommends that people walk the 5K, the 10K, and the half marathon, and then they run the full marathon. Um, wow. So Tina wants to know, does doing this on an elliptical or treadmill count? 100%. Um, <laughs> well, I did. Yeah, I mean, you're doing the miles, so why not? Yeah. I mean, it counts. Oh, this is a really good question, too. Let me find it. How do you guys display the medals? So, Jesse, do you have a way that you display your medals? Yeah. I have a DIY that I did. So, yeah. I have a Ooh. white cork board in the back, and I have... Um, I have my bibs that I place up there. And then I also have collected Disney pins over the years, like some for the Tinkerbell race and for um, food and wine. So it's got, it's like a pin board as well. Oh, and then I put, pretty. I have like some pictures of my friends and I at the races. Oh. Um, and then I have like a shelf that's got a holder and Mickey is in the middle. It's the run Disney Mickey that says I did it. Aww. And um, mm. underneath I put all these like little hooks like that are at different levels. Mm -hmm. And so I can hook all my medals underneath it. That's Great. awesome. I never yes. thought to DIY it. Um, yeah. Rita, where have you been displaying your medal? I haven't displayed it just yet, but I think what I am going to do is kind of like, um, you know, they're like the key holders. Like they have like the little rods, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Plank. I'm gonna do something like that, I think, and I might try to decorate it in some way. I don't know, but when I get more medals, I'm sure I'll feel more inspired. I feel kind of weak sauce with like one medal just hanging on the wall. Oh my gosh, that's, that is a <laughs> hilarious medal. I know, but I just it's a huge accomplishment. Lonely yeah. medal just on the wall. So. Rita, there are like the amount of people that have done a half marathon in the world is so right. slim, mm -hmm. and we've yeah. all done it so. That's true. That's a good accomplishment. I'm not denying that. So I think I'll just feel more inspired with like a look once I have a few more. Yeah. And you'll yeah. get them very soon. Yeah. I can't wait. So Katie, I know that you have a few run Disney medals as well. Do you display them? I have not yet. Um, same. I'm kind of like, I want to put them somewhere, but I want to get something because they're so heavy. So not you really good. need something that's going to anchor into the wall. Like I'm like, oh, command strips. No, those will fall. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're heavy. Yeah. So I really need to invest in something substantial to like put in mm -hmm. the wall so they won't fall. But yeah. I do want to because they truly are. They're too beautiful to just sit in a box. Yeah. And Katie, did you bring any of your medals to show? Yeah. So I did the ones that were from this past summer, which were all inspired by the Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite one, Meg, this is probably up there for you. Oh, the Haunted Mansion. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Oh yeah, that one's gorgeous. Yeah. I love that. Like, it's a domed top, oh, and then God. it's just like engraved on the inside. It's so beautiful, and it's just like, and they have the wallpaper on the pattern of the metal ribbon thing. Like it's yeah. just so beautiful, so pretty. And I like too that you got a little pin version of the completer medal. I yeah. thought that was just a cute little a challenge one. Of a little like a little metal. That is so cute. Yes, so, so cute. They typically do that for the races at the expo where you could buy all the merchandise. <laughs> but they haven't had any merchandise for the races. And so I've been so mm -hmm. bummed that like I would have gotten all the pins for all the races. Yeah, no yeah. Really people use them for like ornaments and they're also pins. Yeah. Also, hi, Jesse, welcome. Uh, so uh, yes, I love that they sent the challenge medal. Oh, Jesse, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's so kind. Uh, Jesse became a member of the channel. So, Jesse, awesome. Yay. Yeah. Um, so, I also have those um, medals that I brought so I could show the. I'm going to just make a little bit of noise for a second while I find it. <laughs> I have it. I ha oh, here it is. I, I was going to show the big version of. Um, so, oh, it's yeah. like a. Oh, here, let me. Oh, I always forget to do this. So, <laughs> This is the actual medal of um, the virtual challenge from over the summer. So the, the pin that Katie just showed, this is the bigger version of it. And it just says A, B, C, D, E tickets, which is so cool. Um, I have, I'll show some of my favorite ones just from this past like virtual fashion show. It is like a fashion show. This is my dopey <laughs> medal 
from this. That was awesome. And it, oh, I love it. That's awesome. I love it. It's still like so funny. Um, typically the, uh, oh, have a great night, Patrick. Thank you so much for being here. Typically the longer race or challenges um, have sort of more intricate designs. So this is the full marathon one. It's also oh, the thinner pin. So oh, I love that one. And then this is the goofy challenge one. Also, like huge, like see how big these are. Um, <laughs> That's a honker. Spins around. Oh, he spins. That's too yeah. cute. So those are some of my favorite ones. Um, I also loved the haunted mansion one. I have like a whole bunch other here. You need a marathon emoji. I do. <laughs> I have to get it. Um, what kind of medal would Santa Claus win? A Noel Prize. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I love a pun. So, I love, pun. yes. Jungle, bring all the Jungle Cruise uh, puns. Yes. Um, yes. So we have just a few minutes left here. So if anyone has any last minute questions, we'd be happy to answer them. Um, I hope that. I don't know. I feel like we'll have to do another, like a part two of this, to yeah. about, like our training. And um, mm -hmm. Jesse had brought it up beforehand, like before we even started the stream about race, like a racecation, which is what they're called. Um, so like if anyone does in the future want to do that, it sounds like silverware service. It does. It's like just <laughs> clinking around. Um, it's okay. <laughs> Yes, I I just like to spin some of the metals. Like, mm -hmm. um, it's they're so interactive and to pay exactly. Yes, Jesse, show that one. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. This was the challenge medal for wine and dine, but it's got like awesome. spinning. But it's also reversible, and then it's got jack, and it oh, also love spins. It. Love that one. So cool. That is when I was like, I regret this decision. <laughs> I should have I guess they just spinner. Yeah. yeah, huge yeah. ones. Like, yeah. yeah, so Pittsburgh Disney fans wants to know a little bit about the expo. Jesse, I don't know if you've gone to the expo. Um, um, yeah, so what were your years. experiences with the expo? Um, the expo is an opportunity to buy all of the things. All the things. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say you get free things. Um, a lot of people give like really good advice and it's really mm -hmm. good to like, you know, they, it's almost like a pre-race party is how it kind of feels like, like there's loud music and there's all sorts of fun booths that you can check out and everyone's really excited to do the race. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really fun event to go to. Um, but it's definitely like a little shopping center is like how mm -hmm. I would describe it. And they, they have, have some really cool photo ops too. Yes. They have a lot of vendors really there. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. you go to pick up your bib. So if you are mm -hmm. signed up for an in-person race, you like have to go there <laughs> to pick up your bib. <laughs> um, when you sign up for an in-person race, you always get a t-shirt too. So that's part of your price. Um, also for the in-person races, they provide, um, fuel along the way. So they provide water as well as it's usually Powerade. Um, and then some sort of energy um, gel, chew, some something like that along the way. But I would highly suggest you bring your own whatever you um, trained with. But yeah, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say there's a lot of free stuff. Sometimes you'll get like a free apple juice thing or like <laughs> apple sauce or whatever. And then Alex had a really good question too. Um, what's your race goals? Um, what's your Everest you want to conquer in the future when it comes to Disney races? So I really like that question. Maybe we'll end on that one. Um, so Jesse, do you have any race goals, run Disney goals, anything like that? I do. I mean, I've always wanted to, I, I mean, I hope someday they'll do coast to coast because I'd love to be able to do that again. Um, but I want to get back to where I was before pre-injury. Um, so it's always been kind of been a dream of mine to like get, I was pretty close to like a two hour and 30 minute race time. And I just really want to see that again. And it's just for my recovery, my personal journey. That's what I'd like to see again. Um, and then also Disneyland Paris does a race every year and that'd be pretty cool. That'd be Ooh, so awesome. But it'd be me like a giant 5'10 woman. And then yeah. all these like tiny Tinkerbells like, ah, you know what I mean? I don't know. You would like to just push them out of the way. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the photo pass photographer is like, oh, a giant's coming. <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> ah, well, those are amazing goals. I really love them. I, I never even thought about doing a, a, like a race in Paris, but wow, that would be really fun. If you go do it, I'll do it with you. Okay. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Oh, do this. 
everyone, let's make it. We talked about doing a trip together. Let's make it that sure. trip. Yeah. Go yeah, on. Let's get this Patricia over with and we'll get there. <laughs> so, Rita, do you have any race goals, any upcoming Run Disney goals? Um, race goal is to be able to actually do like a 16 minute mile um, throughout the whole thing, like at least as an average. Mm -hmm. uh, that would definitely be like my biggest goal. And to try my other kind of goal, it's not necessarily a race goal, but just like a pre-race goal, I guess, is to do more outside, like walking and running, like on the like pavement, opposed to just the elliptical. Because I feel like the elliptical mm -hmm. could kind of trick you a little, thinking you're faster than you really are. Um, so those are like kind of like my two goals. Those are awesome goals. I yeah. love it. Um, also, before we get to Katie, I want to read this too. We all start with one, Rita, and there are people who work out every day that don't even have that accomplishment. You own that medal. It's a huge deal, and that's you're a huge deal for completing yes, it. I love Thank that. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. Wow. For everybody, that's very true. Yep. It's a huge accomplishment. Whether you're doing a 5K, a 10K, a half, or a full, mm -hmm. you are achieving that. Like, you're doing that. So mm -hmm. I think that's one of the things that I really like about doing the races is I feel really, really good about myself after because you work yeah. so hard. They say that, you know, doing the actual training is the challenge and running the race is the victory lap. So mm -hmm. I like to view it as that way because there's a lot of time and effort that go into training, but a hundred percent, you totally earn your medals. Um, so Katie, do you have any upcoming, well, I'll, I'll even generalize it to fitness, running, run Disney goals. Um, I know that when, when I, because I do go through spurts right now. I don't like running, but I feel like once the water starts to get nicer and I want to be outside, I feel like I start to be like, well, let's go to the, let's go to the path and let's go actually do this. And so then I do get a little bit more motivated. Um, and I always, I always want to get like, I think my average time for a 5k is like 40 to 45 minutes because I, I do walk it. That's and, still awesome. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, I, I want, I always want to finish that couch to 5k program and actually be able to fully run a 5k. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's, that's generally my, my goal in life for running is that. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I think for me, I'm probably along the lines of similar to Jesse. Like I would love to, you know, decrease my time, like getting closer to two and a half hours. Um, I just like, I'm five too, so I'm like not that tall. I have really short legs, so it's hard for me to run that fast. And um, I'd much rather do it safer, but if I can run it faster, then I would love to. But my goal is always to just finish. So um, if they make the wine and dine half marathon virtual, I would love to do that too, so I could do all the races for this year. Um, Stacy, thank you so much for posting all the links. Yeah, Stacy Rogers is in there. Mom extraordinaire. She's posting the links to I see Katie's channel, Rita's channel, Jesse's channel, the Instagram to the Fairy God Runners. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for doing that. So I do want to highlight that quickly too. So we do have an Instagram account that we run together. Um, we It's called the Fairy God Runners on Instagram. We post a lot of fitness stuff on there, um, a lot of run Disney stuff. And so I think if you guys are interested in sort of following along on our journeys or if you have yeah. any um, anything you want to tag us in, we would yeah. love to you know, yeah. repost it, anything like that. So uh, go check us out on Instagram as well as everyone's um, personal channels, Instagrams. They're like pretty much all the same as your YouTube. Yeah. So um, yes. Let me just say one other final thing. I oh, think course. like having this support group through all of this has been yeah. so necessary and so yeah. helpful. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to start a running journey, it's so good to do it with other people yeah, so it together because then if you ever are falling down and you need someone to be like, no, no, you can do it. You're good. Like, just yeah. go. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it's so critical to have people that are of the same mind as you. Right. And so really. like, getting a group together, even if it's just like tagging us, like yeah. commenting to us, like mm -hmm. we're happy to come and help support you. So whatever your group looks like, just get, get your friends together, get whoever you can together to just have each other's backs throughout the whole thing. Cause it is a long journey. 
Yeah. So and I like, Katie says it to all the time. She's like, I don't feel like I've worked out if I didn't like tag the yeah. person. <laughs> no, but also keeps you accountable. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Part of what it is, like, I don't, like, when I see all of you guys tagging the account, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to like get up and exercise. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I feel like that too. Agree. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I mean, it's like, it's not a bad thing to yeah. feel that way. I mean, I yeah. love it. Um, Nancy, hello, welcome. Are there any more Run Disney races that are available this year? So I'm really glad that she brought that up as well. Mm -hmm. All of the races coming up um, are unfortunately sold out. So the only two that are still virtual right now, um, Princess is next weekend. And then the Star Wars Half Marathon weekend is in April, but that is fully sold out for all of them. Mm -hmm. um, crossing our fingers though that uh, <laughs> Wine and Dine is virtual too. Yeah. And I I 5Ks usually come out, the, the virtual the that have been virtual. I believe yeah. those come out in March, right? Like the- I think they come out in March. Out in March. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think um, if we do find out any information, um, go follow us on the Fairy Godrunners. If there's yeah. any on Disney information, we're like pretty mm -hmm. much on top of it, yeah. posting it there. So um, if you do go follow the account or any of us on Instagram, pretty much we'll we'll post about it. Um, or if you guys have any questions, yes, Katie, there are um, the virtual Run Disney summer ones as well. So I forgot about those. Thank you. Um, and. <laughs> Stacy asked about um, the magical moment for this evening. Um, and of course that has to be my amazing friend, Pete McDevitt. Pete is like one of the strongest people I know. He has gone through so much. Um, so please keep him and his family in your thoughts. Um, Stacy, I know you literally have all the links to everything. Um, I know Walt started a GoFundMe for him. Um, he undergone another surgery this past week. So um, just keeping him constantly. Pete, if you're watching this, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Hi. Um, <laughs> Pete was one of the first people to call me after, like, so Pete had an incredible 2020. I mean, just the amount of stuff that he went through. But he was one of the first people to call me after I finished my races, which oh. meant the absolute world to me. So um, just even thinking of him tonight. Um, yeah, so Stacy, thank you so much. Um, they're asking cash donations go through Venmo. And she posted that um, Team mm -hmm. Pete shirt, Robin Wilkie. Um, just so, just follow those links. Um, please pray for Pete. And um, also, I want to thank Mike eighty eight NYC. I didn't even catch it until this week, but Mike sent me a really nice PayPal. So, Mike, thank you so much. Um, you didn't have to do that. No, there's no like obligation ever. Um, but Steve said Pete came. Oh, he came home today. Oh, that's so wonderful. Oh, how sweet. Oh, that's wonderful sweet. news. Um, Oh, thanks, Stacy, for that. A car door note is great pickup for Pete. Yeah, so if you guys want to send him a letter or anything like that, um, Preston loves Funko Pops, so Rita and Katie, I know that you would appreciate yeah. that. Um, he's got a nice big collection. But yes, please pray for his family. Um, ladies, thank you so much for being here. I was so excited to do this. Um, I've been so thinking about it since we talked about it, like months ago. So. Um, <laughs> Jesse, what do you have coming up on your channel? I'm going to present you so that you can talk about it. Oh, well, hello. Uh, <laughs> well, I have a lot coming up on my channel. I just got back last Sunday from a 10 day Walt Disney World trip. I just posted my haul video today, but we vlogged the entire trip. And so we've got nine or 10 vlogs coming. And then actually, Katie from Over the Mooney, who's in this right now, we're Are doing they? a collaboration. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a I don't know. We're doing a collaboration next week for Crafted. So be on the lookout Yay. for a romantic Crafted for oh. Valentine's Day. I love Crafted. It's like one of my favorite series. Okay. I know. I love them. Yeah, that's awesome. And also, guys, Jesse hit 20,000 subscribers. Oh, yes. Thank you. Unbelievable. So like I feel like there's so many accomplishments that we get to celebrate. Um Oh. Can I say one more thing? I'm sorry. Um, Fairy Godrunners, we were going to be putting together virtual 5Ks again coming up very soon, starting in the spring. And we did those all through last year. And so we invite all of you to join us in doing that. And so what we do is we will put out a little registration and then we all run, walk, bike, 
elliptical of 5k on a certain date and then we have a little live stream celebration afterwards and it's so much fun and we would like to invite you all along and we will um, be posting more information on our fairy godrunners mm -hmm. instagram so be sure to go and follow us every day and it's completely free to sign up for those yeah, it is 100 yeah. percent free to sign up to mm -hmm. join the live stream um so yes yeah, so we're Last year, we themed it to uh, different attractions to kind of parallel the run Disney ones, but mm -hmm. I think we'll come up with some really exciting ones. So um, mm -hmm. yes, please, please join us on the 5Ks. They're so much fun, and we love to like catch up with everyone after they've completed their amazing. Yeah. amazing yeah. So yeah. fun. Awesome. Yeah. So Jesse, you have lots of amazing things coming up. Congratulations on Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Read out what you have coming up on Adult tricycles could count, I suppose. Yeah. We'll have count. <laughs> Why not? Sure, sure. I love I it. Like be more complicated. So, Only right. if you record that. I would like to see that. Yes, we want video evidence, yes. please. Uh, so, Rita, what do you have coming up on your channel? I'll like present. Um, what do I have coming up? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I need to go back. I don't think I'm coming That's a whole lot of things. <laughs> I have, what do I have coming up? I have a couple unboxings coming up and that's all I've thought of so far. So, <laughs> yeah, do you still I have Funkos? Do you I still have Funkos coming like every day to the house? No, no, no. We're, we're like really lessening the Funko situation. Um, um, I might echoing, I think I'm echoing. I don't hear you echoing. No? no? Okay. okay. So anyways, um, I have unboxings and then I'm going to start a new series on my channel, possibly. Uh, I don't know yet how it's going to all work out. I'm excited to share that if it happens. So maybe a new series. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah. Oh, okay. So guys, make sure you subscribe to Rita because surprises, you never yeah. know. You never know. Stacey so that, said that would be me for all the Funkos arriving like every day. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, she said, well, I don't hear an echo. Maybe that's just... Okay. <laughs> so Katie, what do you have coming up on your channel? Um, yeah, I have the, oh, see, now I'm echoing. Am I echoing? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, Crafted with Jesse. Um, definitely some more DIY stuff coming up. I have a couple of hauls and some unboxings, and I have an unboxing of pins tomorrow. Ooh. Who am I? And I blame him and Johnny. Full disclosure. They're oh, is it the Villain's Lounge Fly? Huh? Are they the Villain's Lounge Fly pins? No. Oh, okay. Other ones. They've oh. unboxed them on their channel. Oh, okay. They're fully responsible. It's fine. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then I'm doing um, a ranked on Friday as well this Ooh. week. I'm very excited to share because I've been in a very Marvel-y mood this week. So <sighs> That's awesome. I'm talking Marvel. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I love hey. it. Oh my gosh. Love well, it. I still have to catch up on all the new Marvel stuff. I feel like I'm so, so far good. behind. Oh, anyway, I would say that they're pinstigators because. Yes, right? Pinstigators. I mean, but like, that. you're missing out on pins though, so you can't. Look at those little angel faces. Yeah. <laughs> I can do anything. No. Um, <laughs> I love it. I know I haven't seen WandaVision yet. I'm so behind. Oh, um, so okay. Good. Well, thank you ladies so, so much for being here. It means so much to me. I'm so glad that we got to hang out for a little bit because I really do. I miss our little chats and everything. Um, but if you guys are interested in participating in any of our 5Ks coming up, um, be sure to check out the Fairy God Runners on Instagram. We typically update a lot of stuff there um, as well as on Instagram on our individual profiles as well. <laughs> so true. They, they're not angels. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, yes, so a lot of information coming there. If we have any more Run Disney information, say for the uh, summer Run Disney virtual races, we will keep everyone updated on there, um, as well as any information for Wine and Dine, but that probably won't be for a little bit. Um, everyone who's participating in the Princess um, weekend, next weekend. Good luck. Um, we will be doing it with you. I'm sure we'll be yep. updating everyone on Instagram as well. Um, so I'm very excited to do that. And uh, congratulations to all the runners in advance. And uh, I will see you guys next week. We're doing a paint night 
with uh, Steve yeah. and Joy. And I'm very excited for that to do some painting. So, oh, awesome, Udalali Lane, thank you so much. Um, I hope that everyone has a wonderful rest of your week and we'll see you real soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.